Welcome to this video, my name is Barry Beckham. I was looking for a video subject for my next newsletter. When the subject of creating fine lines around the edge of images in a slideshow was raised on a pictures to exe forum. Now many people will know that I'm a flag waving fan of pictures to exe and we can add fine lines within pictures to exe they're called borders but they're not one of the features I'm overly fond of because in pictures to exe the line is added on the outside of the image and that changes the aspect ratio of the image very slightly now this isn't an insurmountable problem but if you then decide to pan zoom or rotate any of the images the lines going to rotate too and that's generally not very attractive in addition the line can be a little tedious to apply especially if you've got lots of images in a slideshow and it can also be tedious when you need to adjust the line if you realize maybe you've made an error and that's something we do quite often when we're making our slideshows but we'd have to visit every image to change it if I select this image and open the objects and animations screen and take you to the properties tab up at the top right here's the option we may wish to use I can tick and I can add a border now you can see if I add a width here of about 30 now you would argue that that's far too much for what we need here but you can see how it's affecting the aspect ratio of the image you can see the little black area down the right and left that we shouldn't really want to see now if we make this width very very low which is what we want most of the time maybe one or two let me just click into that gray area so we can view it there you can see it's quite a delicate line so it's hardly affecting the aspect ratio but we do have to apply it in the way you've seen here and of course we have a color option too in the fullness of time it would be nice if pictures to xe allowed the user to add a transparent layer above every image in the show and apply a thin line to that it would then be independent of any pan rotate or zoom I feel that at the present stage of development and with my style of audio visual in mind a more convenient and quicker way to achieve a thin line around an image is via an image editor Photoshop and elements would be ideal but I'm sure many other programs will do exactly what I'm about to demonstrate now as you can see I've opened up Photoshop and assuming that we're going to create our slideshow at 169 aspect ratio 1920 by 1080 then we're going to need to create a new canvas at the same size now we can do that by going to file new and going into the new document window now if you've made a new document at that size in the past you may find it saved here and there you can see I've got a couple actually so we just need to select that and I can create but I'm going to change the color the color really isn't that important but if I choose black you'll be able to see the line more effectively so I'm going to click create and before I do anything else I'm going to go to the bottom right of my layers and I'm going to create a new blank canvas over the top of the background in a few moments we can drop that in the bin and we're just going to save this transparent layer with a few pixels around the outer edge so we need to select the outer edge and probably the quickest way to do that is with the universal keystroke of Control A select all now we can go up to the edit menu at the top left of the screen and choose edit stroke we're going to add a few pixels of white to the selection line you can see I'm going to apply them on the inside of the line you can see we have other options I'm going to deliberately make my line a lot wider than I really need it I'm going to make it five pixels click the color panel and you can see I've got a pure white selected and click OK when I hit Control D to remove that selection there you can clearly see the line that we need to save but of course I don't need that black background when I turn that off or if I drop that in the bin 
then we're left with just a clear canvas with a five pixel line in white around the outer edge. So all we need to do with that is to save it as a PNG file. So I'm going to go up to the top left and choose File, Save As. I'm going to navigate to the folder that's got a few test images. It's called Thin Line. I'm going to call my border a name. I generally use Frame, but of course you can use anything you wish. The important part is in the Save As type. We need to change this to PNG so that the transparent areas of the canvas are retained. There it is down the bottom. We all select that, save, OK, and now we can go back into Pictures to Etsy and apply it. Once we're back into Pictures to Etsy, we need to select the first image where we want to apply the frame. There we can see it sitting there at the bottom. Not easy to see, but it's there. We select the first image in the sequence we want to apply and open up the objects and animation screen. If this comes up with a green box around the outer edge just like that, click into the grey area to remove that. Then go to the top of the screen and add an image and the image we want to add is the frame from the folder we're working in. There's the line that we've applied. To apply it to the rest of the images we do have to visit each one but it's quite quick. If we go down to the bottom right corner here, if we highlight the frame we can hit Control C and that will be copied to the computer's clipboard. Now I can go to the top right and skip to the next image, click into the grey area to lose that bounding box and then use Control V to paste skip to the next one and do the same thing and you can see it's quite a quick process so even if I had 30 or 40 images here and I've come to the end of mine I would be able to do that fairly quickly now let me open up the next image into the objects and animation screen I'm only choosing this one because it's nice and dark around the outer edge and the lines going to show up even better I think because we can demonstrate how the line is going to stay in place while we animate the image underneath. You can see I've got the image selected rather than the frame. There's the frame. Select the image. I'm going to add a keyframe somewhere up here. It doesn't really matter for demo purposes. But then what I could decide to do is maybe do a little bit of zoom in. So what I'm going to do here is put my cursor at the start, press play, so as the image zooms, um, it would be the same with a pan and a rotate, the frame stays in place. What I like about this method of working is as we go through the process of putting a slideshow together, we do quite a bit of what I call ducking and diving, changing our minds on the fly. So let's assume for a moment that my decision to create a five pixel line in white here was way over the top. And imagine rather than just having the six images I've got here, imagine if I had 66. Well, fixing this problem is very quick. To do it, we need to go back into Photoshop and do exactly what we did a few moments ago. So here we are back to where we were a few moments ago. I've created the black canvas and the new blank canvas above it and hit Control A. And the procedure here is much the same for Photoshop Elements. Slightly different, I guess, but not much. But if I go to Edit and I choose Stroke, I will stay with white as my color. But if I want to reduce the size of the line to a very delicate one pixel, I can do that. I don't want to save this with my black border and I'll get rid of that selection although it's not essential to save it all I need to do now is save this over the top of the previous image which I called frame so file save as it's navigating back to the same place this time so I'll choose my PNG I'll say overwrite frame save it's going to give me the warning but yes I want to go over the top and OK and once again now we can go back into Pictures to Exe. 
Now let me pick up one of these other images, go to Objects and Animation, there we've got a fine delicate one pixel line and we've got exactly the same line on every single image in our sequence and I emphasize the fact that here I've got six but we could have a lot more than six. Now I think there's bound to be one or two people saying well why would we want a thin line around the outer edge of our slideshow anyway? Well if you're only ever going to view your slideshow on a 16.9 monitor or a 16.9 TV you could argue that that in fact is the case. But if we want to see our slideshows play particularly well on all other devices, maybe some at a different aspect ratio, certainly like iPads and Galaxy tabs, then it may be nice to put this fine line because with dark images like this, they can bleed off into the black background and it can, in some instances, really spoil the image and the sequence. But as always with frames in photography, it has to be a personal choice. But this way I find pretty convenient. It's quick to apply, but more importantly, it's very quick to change when we do change our mind. And here's another reason why we may wish to change our mind yet again. Because even though I put just a one pixel line around my images, because they are very dark images, it's quite bright, that one pixel line. So if I take my artwork I've got here, which does still have that one pixel line, if I hit Control A to reselect it, go back to Edit and Stroke and check the color box, I can reduce the glare of that white to a mid-tone gray and you would think sometimes that if you make it that dark, it's not going to be noticeable. Well, it certainly will. So I'm going to click OK to select that colour and OK and all we'd need to do here whether we've got six images or 600 is just to save that as a PNG over the top of the previously saved frame. So as we view these six images we can see how the frame or the border isn't affected by the animation whether that's pan, zoom or rotate. Now as I've said, I quite like this method because it allows me quick and easy adjustment and I find myself doing that quite a bit. In the digital world there are a number of ways to achieve much the same thing. As always with these techniques it boils down to which one suits you best. Thanks for watching and if you're interested in the software to make slideshows like this Come along to our website where you'll find pictures to exe slideshow software and also a free trial. Plus we have many videos like this one to help you learn the process.